Are we alone in the universe? Now, our solar system has a visitor from outer space. 3i Atlas is speeding towards the sun. And if you were to believe a few scientists and astronomers, credible people who've been brave enough to speak their mind, it may even be an alien spaceship or a probe. Could it be that? Wouldn't that be the day? Something strange, something uninvited has slipped into our celestial backyard. It's neither a planet nor an asteroid. This is 3i Atlas. A visitor from far beyond our solar system. Astronomers first spotted an interstellar object only a few years ago with Oumuamua in 2017. Then came 2i Borisov in 2019. Discovered by Crimean amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov. And now, for the third time in human history, another mysterious traveller has arrived. Moving closer at nearly 37 miles per second, that's about 210,000 kilometres per hour. This is 3i Atlas. The 3i Atlas was first spotted on the 1st of July 2025 by Atlas, an abbreviation of the term Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. ATLAS is a NASA-funded network of telescopes with eyes in Hawaii, Chile and South Africa. 3i ATLAS was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded ATLAS survey. Uh, it was discovered using their uh, telescope at Rio Hurtado in Chile and it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. Astronomers estimate that the 3i ATLAS could be 3 billion years older than our 4.5 billion year old solar system, making it the oldest interstellar object ever observed by humans. Although NASA projects 3i Atlas will keep a distance of more than 150 million miles from Earth, its size alone is enough to raise eyebrows. In the case of 3i Atlas, as soon as it was discovered, I estimated its expected size based on the reflectance of sunlight and it looked as if it's 20 kilometers, which is huge. It's as big as Manhattan Island and twice as big as the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. And such a big object is, you know, un untenable if it's a rock because there is not enough material in interstellar space to produce such a giant rock uh, every decade. You would expect such a rock to arrive to the vicinity of Earth once per 10,000 years or longer. And so uh, the question is, what is it and why is it so uh, big if it is big? Astronomers say the composition of 3i Atlas makes it even more mysterious. Early observations point to materials not typically found in natural objects drifting through interstellar space. The only place where you find nickel without iron is in alloys that are produced for industrial purposes here on Earth, which raises the possibility that maybe this object uh, is a technological uh, spacecraft. And the other reason to assume that is well, if there is not enough rocky material in interstellar space, perhaps such a big object was targeting the, inter, the inner solar system and therefore had nothing to do with the reservoir of rocky material in interstellar space. But what could have drawn 3i Atlas towards planet Earth? The one anomaly about the 3i Atlas is also its trajectory. The previous ones came at a large angle relative to the plane of the planets around the Sun. However, 3i Atlas came exactly in the plane and one wonders whether it came as a reconnaissance mission to examine uh, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, uh, which it will come very close to. Uh, it would have taken about 80 years for this object to arrive to the vicinity of Earth. And about 80 years ago, uh, we had the first nuclear explosion on Earth. And so one may wonder whether uh, we triggered this visit. As 3i Atlas passes through our solar system, the question remains, how should we respond to such objects? Could these encounters be an opportunity for discovery or a risk we don't yet fully understand? 
It's a blind date of interstellar proportions. And in a blind date, my advice is observe the other side before doing anything. Is 3i Atlas a comet, a stray asteroid, an alien craft, or something we aren't even aware of? Whatever it is, its arrival reminds us how little we know about the vast frontiers beyond our solar system.